Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another makeup tutorial. This one is a timeless, simple airport makeup routine, which is gonna be helpful for anyone who's traveling and you wanna look nice and fresh, but really simple and you don't wanna do too much. This makeup look is great for right now for me actually, because I'm actually about to head to the airport in literally like five minutes. I did this makeup look so quickly. Um, I'm going to Generation Beauty this weekend in Los Angeles. So let me know if you guys are going to Gen Beauty and also let me know if you guys want me to vlog Gen Beauty. I will be bringing my camera with me today is Thursday and it is 11 22 and I'm going to do a same day film same day upload so as soon as I get to LA I will be uploading this for you guys so just let me know in the comments below whenever you see this I can start vlogging on Saturday so let me know what you guys want to see so let's go ahead and get started hey guys Okay, so we're gonna start off with a new foundation today. So I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever HD foundation. This is my first time using it and I'm so excited to use this. This is the brush that they prefer you to use it with. This is the one that's usually in the stores and I just wanted to show you if you wanted to use a brush like that, but I can go overboard with the foundation when I use brushes like this. So I just decided to use my little brush that I have from my Amazon set. If you haven't seen my brushes video, I will link it down below for you guys. Just post the video somewhere on this video here so just stay tuned for a little link down below or somewhere on this video so I'm just gonna shake that foundation up and put it on my face as I usually do and guys this foundation here oh my goodness is gonna be a holy grail when I know it it feels so good and smooth it looks flawless and I've never had a foundation that matches my skin color so perfectly. Like, look at one side and look at the other side. Look at how flawless that looks. It's so amazing. This foundation matches my color perfectly. There's so many different color ranges. So if you've tried this foundation, I really want to know what you think about it. I really, really love it. And I've had it on for a few hours now since I've um, started this video this morning. And it still looks amazing. So this foundation is going to be one of my favorites for a very long time to come. Next, we've got another new product. I'm using the new Anastasia Brow Definer, which is the kind of triangular shaped brow pencil. It's a little bit bigger than the Brow Wiz, and I really like it so far. So I'm gonna show you guys how I apply that on my eyebrows. I like this a lot better because I don't have to use as much pressure or as much product to fill in my eyebrows. My eyebrows are pretty dark, but they're really sparse. They have a lot of spaces in them. So I really liked how this one filled it in, and it looked a lot more natural since I didn't have to use as much product. But I would be aware that the colors in this one, I usually get ebony, but it seemed like it was a little bit darker. So maybe you would want to go down a color shade, but definitely test this out in the stores before you get it. eyeshadow today so I just took my little powder sponge and put that on my eyes to matte them out because I did put on some foundation on my eyelids and then I'm going to go in with my it cosmetics mascara just to make my eyelashes pop a little bit next I'm going to use my NYX dark circle corrector in the color medium and I'll show you guys what that looks like and I'm going to put that under my eyes, just right where the dark circles in the bag sit. And I'm not using very much of this because I'm actually going in with another concealer that I haven't used before on top of it. And I really want to see how that concealer holds up. But I wanted to just cover my dark circles just a little bit. And now I'm going to go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Caramel. And I'm going to start by putting that right under my eyes as I usually do. And right on top of that, I'm going to go in with the color Biscuit. So Caramel is Medium Dark 2 and Biscuit is Medium Dark 1. So like I do with my Drugstore, my LA Girl Pro Conceal, how I do my skin color one, and then a little bit lighter on top to highlight, I'm going to do the exact same thing with these, just for a nice, natural, glowy, highlighted look. And so far, I really, really like it. It looks really nice. Next 
gonna use my Anastasia contour kit refills in the color golden peach I didn't use banana to mix it because I just wanted a more of a natural look so I'm going to use that under my eyes my upper lip on my chin in between my nose and between my eyebrows and a little bit above that as well for a nice natural highlighted look I used my Maybelline Great Lash for my lower lash line mascara in waterproof as usual. And next I used my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion for my contour just to warm up my face. And as you can see, I missed it so much. I feel like I haven't used this in so long, so I thought I would bring it back. It's just a really nice and simple glow for a nice and simple makeup look. So I'm going to put that in the areas I always do on my forehead, my cheeks. I'm going to do it on my upper lip, underneath my lip underneath my chin on my jawline and do a nice and simple nose contour as well. For my highlight, I'm going to be using my Champagne Glow Palette by Becca and Jaclyn Hill. And I'm going to take the color Champagne Pop and Pearl and mix them together and put those in the areas that I always highlight. And I'm going to put that on my nose, Cupid's bow, on my chin, on my cheeks. And I took the Pearl color just by itself and put it on the corners of my eyes for a nice bright look. And I usually go overboard with the highlight when I don't have that much makeup on because I really like a really nice dewy and glowy look. I took my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder and began to set my makeup with that. And I really made sure that I buffed it in this time to set it. Usually when I fly, my makeup slides around, I get all oily, so I like to make sure that I set it really, really well. To further set my makeup, I use my Evian spray. I really like to use this on flights as well, just to give my skin a little surge of moisture. And I use my Nukes Lip Balm. I do not put on lip gloss, lipstick, any of that for planes. I always do lip balm because it's very drying, at least for me. So I try to stay away from those things and just use things that are more moisturizing for my lips. My simple airport makeup look I really hope that you guys enjoy it I also wanted to show you guys some things that I really like to bring when I travel and some things that will be really helpful for your skin if you don't like to wear makeup you can do like a skin mask like the cheap ones or my favorite thing to use is this glam glow I'll actually put this on on the plane or whenever I get to my final destination I'll wash my face and put this on to make sure that my skin stays really nice and hydrated because planes can be very very dry um, I'm not going to bring this with me this time because I'm actually testing out a new cream that I have on right now actually underneath this and I wore it last night to sleep and I had like no dry spots so it was really nice so I'm going to try that out and see if it can work as kind of like an alternate. It's a little bit cheaper so I'm going to see how that works and let you guys know. Also on the plane I always bring my Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask with me. I put this on my lips before takeoff and I actually put it on my cuticles too because if you notice sometimes when you fly your hands like around your nails get like really really dry. Sometimes this can help out a lot so that's my little quick tip as well. So let me know some of you guys favorite airport travel tips, makeup tips, anything that you do that's helpful for other people leave it in the comments below. Also since this is a same day upload, same day post, I will be posting my outfit really quick on Snapchat. 
that. And I'll probably post it on Twitter for you guys because if you don't see it by, you know, a few days, it'll be on Twitter. I don't know if I'm going to post it on Instagram, but of course I'm going to link all my social media down below so that you can see everything and see everything where it is. I usually am that girl that wears like heels and dresses up to the airport, but today I was like, nah, this is too long of a flight. I'm going to be comfortable. So I wanted to show you guys my relaxed airport look as well. And thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys feel beautiful inside and out today because you are. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.